Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, everybody who follows politics has heard the word gerrymandering. It's something that both parties do. See, each state is assigned a certain number of seats in the House based on its population. Then the politicians draw their districts uh, and they do it in order to preserve their jobs. They like safe Democrat and Republican districts. So if you look at a map of congressional districts, it, they really look funny. They are oddly shaped blobs, sometimes looking like an amoeba, sometimes they look like a snake. They are pockets of liberalism or conservatism sometimes united just by thin strips of land. The town way over here will be part of a district with several other towns way over here miles away from each other. There are even some districts that are in two different places. I saw a map that had a congressional district that had uh, s some of the district was here and then there was a little circle over here that was completely surrounded by the other party's district. This is absurd. It makes no sense. Last year, a court ruled that Texas legislators drew their districts in order to deprive Latinos of the political power that their numbers in the state should bring them. Some districts have lots of people in them, and some might extend for miles, but have very few people living there. The result is that the House of Representatives is filled with basket, paces, basket cases. Both parties' most extreme and stupidest members find themselves a home in the House. This is one-third of our government. I don't think that it's a good idea to have one-third of our government populated by idiots, extremists, and lunatics. And also, our congressmen should represent their state, not just small, isolated hamlets in one corner of it, which is what they tend to do now. Now, here in California, we have taken uh, the power to draw districts out of the hands of our legislature and given it to an independent commission. This is a step in the right direction and other states would be wise to follow our lead. But it is not a solution to the problem. I have a better idea. Let's eliminate congressional districts entirely. The Republicans the Democrats and other independent parties would hold their primaries. And the winners, the names of the winners would be placed on ballots throughout the state. Congressional seats would be won by those who received the most votes statewide. This would force all congressional candidates to try to appeal to a majority of the people in the state, not just in one little corner of it. In order to win, you would have to convince as many people as possible to vote for you, not just a few people in one area. Sensible and moderate candidates would have a better chance of winning, and more extreme candidates would find themselves back on the fringes where they belong. And third and fourth party candidates would also have a better chance of taking seats in the House and this could give rise to a viable third party which is something this country definitely needs. Thanks for listening.